Hello, welcome to Premier League Predictions. You know what it is, baby. So, I know the Premier League's already started. I thought there was a bye week. I got that wrong. But the predictions are the same. We have them here. So we're just going to run through them anyway. Coming in in 20th place, I have Chelsea. I mean, Todd Bowley, not a good owner. He also owns the Dodgers, who are, as we know, overrated. But they have, what, over 36 signings in two years? We only need 11 for on a soccer field. So... It just doesn't make sense what he's doing. Too, I think too many cooks in the kitchen. 20th place finish for them. Hopefully they can come back next year get a good draft pick. But it's just not happening for Chelsea this year. Next up we got Man United. Just not really impressive. I mean they got rid of Ronaldo. Which he's the best player in the world. So they shouldn't have done that. They have Xerxes now who he's okay. But he's no Ronaldo. He has less Ballon d'Ors than him. So they, I really don't see why they got rid of him. But yeah, I, again, they'll get a decent draft pick next year, Man United, but 19th place will be Manchester United. Coming 18th, I did the Carolina Panthers. They just haven't done enough in the offseason for me. The fans aren't showing up to the stadium. There's just nothing going for them. I think the Panthers are going to be kind of dwelling in the bottom of the tail for quite a bit, but yeah. Carolina Panthers coming 18th in the Premier League. 17th place, we have Everton. It just seems like they always find a way to escape. Every time you think they're going down, you think, no, th they stay right back up. They get you. And as long as the Panthers in the league, I think they'll be safe. So I think they'll just escape by the skin of their teeth. Coming in 16th place, I put Ipswich. I think they're going to stay up. I mean, they have Ed Sheeran. and he's, he's pretty good. So, yeah, I mean, with the power of divide at your fingertips, there's really you can really can't go wrong. So Ipswich Town will be coming in 16th place. 15th, I put Fulham. They have Anthony Robinson, the Jedi, the Captain America himself, baby. So maybe he can do some mind tricks again in 15th position. They've been doing all right. So maybe might not. They won't push at the table, but I think Fulham, they should be safe. They should be safe. 14th, I put Bournemouth. I mean, Tyler Adams, maybe the best midfielder in world soccer. He is, in my opinion, at least. But... Yeah, I think Tyler Adams is really going to help them out this season. I think he can really control from the middle of the field, both on and off the field. So yeah, Bournemouth will be in 14th place. 13th, Nottingham Forest. They have Captain America Matt Turner, the New England boy himself. If he can do it in New England, he can do it in Old England. Let's be real. Um, Yeah, so nothing's going to get by him. Him and his pair of safe hands and Matt Turner. So Nottingham Forest will be in 13th place. 12th place, Crystal Palace. We have Chris Richards, Captain America himself. He's going to lock it down in defense, really, if you think about it. I can't see anyone getting by him. There might, might be some weak spots of his other teammates, but as long as Chris Richards is on the field, I mean, the forwards are going to, they're really going to struggle. The offense of any other team is really going to struggle against Chris Richards. Coming in 11th place, I put the Miami Dolphins. One thing we talk about, or you guys talk about over in England, is can you do it on a cold night in Stoke? In the Dolphins, they can't perform. They can't do it on a cold night in Buffalo, so why are they going to be able to do it on a cold night in Stoke? They're a warm weather team, and there's not really any of that in England, so it doesn't matter who if they have two, if they have Tyreek Hill, they're gonna they're, they have a mid-table finish. Tenth place, I put um I put the Spurs. They really didn't do well last season, but ever since they got Wemby. They really have been on the rise, and now they have Chris Paul. I think, I know it's only two players, but they could be building something special, so I don't think they're going to be towards the top of the league just yet, but they're not going to be anywhere near as bad as they were last year now with they have Chris Paul. I think the Spurs are going to do, I think they're going to do pretty pretty good this season. Ninth place, I put Wrexham. Um, I just think Ryan Rounds and Rob McLean have been really good. They care about the team. They're always over in Wales, so... Uh, um, I actually don't know if in the Premier League, but if they were, I think they come in ninth. So that'll be good. Eighth place is a very big one because this is where the playoffs begin. In an eighth place, I put Inter Miami. I think they can go deep in the playoffs. I think they actually win the whole thing, but it just seems like week in and week out, maybe they might have a result or two not go their way, which can kind of be clinical in the long run. So Inter Miami, I put in eighth place. I think Suarez and Messi are going to do well. They're, they're maybe they're past their prime, but they, they can still do it. Let's be real. Seventh place, I put Man City. They lost Aguero, which hasn't been good. Um, and they just have all those charges they have to deal with. There's going to be a lot going on behind the scenes, which is not going to do them any favors. So yeah, Manchester City, I have in seventh place. 
Arsenal. I have in sixth place. Um, they they have good players. Ever since I uh, no, ever since they got rid of Matt Turner, if they kept Matt Turner, maybe I'll maybe I'll put him. Maybe they could win the league if they kept Matt Turner. But ever since they got rid of him, it just hasn't made much sense to me, to be honest. So sixth place is all they're gonna get. Fifth place, we have my beloved AFC Richmond. I mean, we've been looking really good. I love the way that Sam Abasanya will cut in and just kind of support Danny Rojas and Jamie Tart in that false nine double pivot position. It's been really clinical. You have Jan Mas holding it down at six, and then again, he can hold it down, even allow the wingbacks to push up. So AFC Richmond, we've been playing some great soccer recently. And yeah, I think fifth place, I think we can get the, the Europapa League. Fourth place, I put the Wolves. I mean, Anthony Edwards is still playing. He just turned 23, 24, and he did great last season. So I think they're only going to build on that. The Wolves are going to have a great run. Um, they lost Pedro Neto, but as long as Anthony Edwards are, are, is performing, I think they'll be all right. Rudy Gobert as well will be locking it down at the back. Third place, I put AC Milan. They have Christian Pulisic, Captain America himself. As long as he's there, they could even win the title, man. They could win the title. But... I'm going to put them in the third just to be safe because there's some great teams in the Premier League, which you'll see. Second place, I put PSG because they just signed Kevin Durant. I mean, you might think Kevin Durant's past it and you might be right. But seeing what he did in the Olympics, there's no reason PSG can't go on and kind of do what they haven't done before. And that would be placed second place in the Premier League because they've never done that. And um, I know they don't have Mbappé anymore, but they have KD, so who cares? First place, I did Liverpool because they have LeBron James. I mean, you can say what you want about LeBron James. He's aging like fine wine. We saw what he did for the Lakers for the, in the Olympics. I mean, when we talk about the GOAT conversation, he's there. So why won't he be able to win the Premier League? There's no reason. Liverpool all the way. Right, guys. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel um, for more 1,000 IQ ball knowledge videos. <laughs> be sure to subscribe. If you're new here, I am American, but um, my ball knowledge isn't that bad. This is all a bit of a joke. Hope you didn't find it too annoying. Hope you hope you had a laugh at some point. So um, yeah, I'm not even an Ace fan. I like the Red Sox. Hello there, and welcome to Premier. No Premier. That's how I meant to say it. Just say Premier. Hello there, welcome to Premier League predictions. No, no, that's not right either. <laughs> so fucking stupid.